What's going on, Jerome's? It was fantastic to land uh, defensive coordinator Brian Flores this offseason. Frankly, he may be the Vikings' most important offseason acquisition as he comes in from uh, the Pittsburgh Steelers to take over the Vikings defense. And this is the Vikings defense last year. This is the Vikings defense this year. Last year? This year. That's right, man. And Flores is highly respected around the league, and he even got some love from the analytics community. So uh, this is from Steve Patton over at Patton Analytics. Uh, Since 2016, who are the best defensive play callers? The Vikings, Dolphins, Panthers, or Browns hire coaches that rank in the top 10. To no one's surprise, Fangio's defensive philosophy has taken the league by storm. So first off, so Fangio. Fangio's up there at three. And then you got uh, Brandon Staley at four, former uh, Fangio, Acolyte, Sean Desai's on there, a bunch of other guys who worked with Fangio. So basically, you're telling me the only guy who has ever worked with Vic Fangio who sucks is Ed Donatel. Come on, man. Come on. Come on. But I, I, I digress. But fantastic to see Brian Flores up there at two. Now the, the criteria is 2016 to 2022, so seven seasons, uh, blitz, box, market, and yak efficiency. Now, I'm way too dumb for all these new age analytics. I'm just going to say that this is probably pretty good. So Belichick is up there at one. <laughs> Willie McGinnis. <laughs> yeah. All right, so Belichick is up there at one. And it's uh, fitting that Flores and Belichick worked together uh, for a number of years in New England. Flores actually started in the Patriots scouting department before uh, becoming a coach, eventually rising to unofficial defensive coordinator, uh, including that flourish in the Super Bowl, holding the Rams to three points. No, no big deal. Uh, but you got Fangio and Staley at three and four, respectively. Wink Martindale at five. I don't know. I feel like we, we kind of tore up Wink Martindale's defense a little bit in the wild card game. But mm. uh, Jero Avero, who's a finalist for the Vikings job, uh, Carolina. Uh, he did a good job with the Broncos last season. Uh, Jack Del Rio. Mm. Uh, Jim Schwartz. Nah, just kidding. Lo- love us some Jack Del Rio, former Vikings linebacker from Park in the Day. Uh, Jim Schwartz, who Jim Schwartz was a horrible head coach for the Lions. I think that he is a fantastic defense coordinator. Uh, Caldwell, uh, Spagnolo, Spags. Uh, again, speaking of uh, bad head coaches, but really good DCs. Yes, Steve Wilkes, respect. Uh, Todd Bowles, yes. Raheem Morris, yes. Uh, Lou Anarama. I-, I think that Lou, Sweet Lou, is a little bit too low. I'll put him in the top ten for sure. Uh, Joe Woods. Yes. Uh, ooh, the Gus Bus. Uh, again, bad head coach, good DC. Yeah. Uh, Dan Quinn, DQ. Probably uh, probably includes uh, you know the Falcons uh, when he was head coach. Actually, does since 2016. Eh. Ask Dan Quinn about 2016 and the Falcons. Rough. Uh, Vance Joseph, Vance Refrigeration as well. Sean Desai. Uh, sure. But yeah. But Brian Flores up there in two. You absolutely love to see it. And looking at some of his numbers, so his three years in Miami as head coach slash defensive play caller, and then his final year with the Patriots as uh, you know quote unquote DC. Uh, the I mean, the numbers speak for themselves. So his final year in New England, they're seventh in points, 21st in yards. Uh, his first year in Miami, before he had a lot of uh, player turnover, they were the worst. They were the worst in the league in points and also in yards. But just look at that jump in 2020 uh, where they really got things going. And in terms of aggressiveness, very aggressive. I mean, last year the Vikings were – a bottom third of the league in blitz pressures and sacks, and that's pretty amazing considering uh, the uh, when Zadarius Smith went off in the first half of the year as well as Daniel Hunter really stepping up in the second half. But uh, Flores' uh, Dolphins defense is in 2021, blitz second, pressures third, uh, sacks fifth, uh, and also his 2020 defense second in blitz, uh, 11th in pressures, 11th in sacks. So it, what's interesting is that, in 2021, his defense's numbers were were better, uh, although like black and white stats of points and yards were middle of the pack. But in terms of getting heat and getting pressure, that's what I want to see. And, and that's exactly what we want the Vikings to have this year, where, I mean, they may be middle of the pack in terms of points and yards, but can you get after the quarterback's ass? Can you cause a, a, a turnover here or there? Can you make one game-changing play a game? Yes, I think the defense certainly can do that. So with well, Kevin O'Connell – working that offense and Flores uh, turning this defense into a, a a multiple disguised hungry fast and aggressive unit sky's the limit man sky's the limit I mean it, I, I do hear the Vegas is really nice in February it's actually kind of cold kind of like it kind of like it man but uh, your thoughts and our thoughts Brian Flores named uh, the number two defensive play caller in the league. Uh, let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo. But until next time, skull.
production value.